Democrats, South Africans, members of the international community, good morning, Khuyamora, Sanbonani, Dumelang. Welcome to our national convention for 2024 special broadcast. I am your host, Karavo Lerato Khakau, Ketoa Adi Yamu Afrika, Mwanana Mosotwe and Akasavili. Mukubu Ngamuta Tamutivedi, Kubu Kubu Nta Marota Rabone. I'm coming to you live from the Empress Palace here in Johannesburg. Gauteng, where leaders of various political parties will convene a national convention to negotiate a pre-election pact to rescue South Africa. This venue was where the historic Codesa negotiations took place, ushering in a new era for South Africa. These negotiations were multi-party negotiations that took place between 1990 and 1993, delivering our first democratic election in 1994. So over the next two days, leaders of various political parties represented in the multi-party national convention will convene to charge a new forward to have a new government and replace the ANC in 2024. So these leaders will also have a media briefing later on today where they'll, where they'll give their opening remarks. But first, before we do so, I am now joined by the Chief Whip of the Official Opposition in the National Assembly, that is Siviwe Kwahube. Ushagaz, what a historical moment. What a time to be alive. How do you feel? Absolutely. I think um, coming here, particularly at this venue at Emperor's Palace, mm -hmm. and reading all of these um, you know, negotiations, seeing these visions of people who were just passionate about their country, who believed that they could have better for not only their country at the time, but also for generations to come. It says to me, this is exactly where we are in South Africa today. So 30 years later, we are here as political parties saying that we really, really need to hit the reset button. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think that is why you are seeing, um, you know, several political parties that are here today ready to, 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 part, to chart a way forward and to make sure that we are in negotiating a future, not only for now, mm -hmm. but a better future for South Africa. Mm. So, but Chief, South Africans are despondent. You know, people can't help but wonder, is this another Lohotla? Is this another Inbizo? Is it a talk shop? Mm. Tell us, what makes this national convention different? This is quite different because as political parties, we've set a criteria to how we would like to see what success looks like uh, at the end of Thursday. Mm -hmm. These two days are not just going to be about political parties having conversations. Mm -hmm. We have a structured program. Um, we are wanting to come out of here with a declaration mm -hmm. that we will share with the people of South Africa so that the people of South Africa can hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. We are saying here that we're going to be putting things in place around um, what are the key principles that we agreed on. Mm -hmm. And that's quite important. Important, uh, Karabo, because you know a lot of uh, coalition governments, as, an, as, a, as, a, as a consequence, have fallen through because actually there hasn't been negotiations about exactly what it is, what are the key principles that you, as political parties, agree to. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be looking at issues that are apolitical. For instance, the fact that over 50% of South Africans are out of work, the fact that seven out of 10 young people are without work. The fact that people in South Africa do not feel safe, these are things, the fact that we have an energy crisis that's threatening to collapse our economy, these are things that go far beyond our political ideologies. Mm. These are things that if, if you are passionate about South Africa like we are, mm. you should be concerned about it. Mm. And so we are going to put in together forward not only just a, a, a charter, but we're going to be putting forward what are the priorities for a packed government? What would a multi-party government like this one prioritize in the first hundred days of government mm -hmm. in the first hundred days in office what would we tackle mm -hmm. how would we solve the issues facing South Africans the most mm -hmm. and so that's why I think it's quite different from just you know another dialogue another Lakhotla, because mm -hmm. we are wanting to come out of here with a document mm -hmm. that we can show the people of South Africa so they can hold us against it mm -hmm. and accountable against it next year mm -hmm. so speaking of the program just run us through why it was important for us to have an independent expert as the chairperson of this convention? 
Look, I think it, it only, it, it only uh, stands, it, it only helps us, it, it gains us a lot because, mm -hmm. first of all, you know, Professor Gomede is, is somebody who's renowned in this particular space mm -hmm. and is somebody who's well respected. But also it was important because we wanted to make sure that this was not just simply led by one political party, that this is a multi-party effort mm -hmm. and that we are, as, an, as the Democratic Alliance, while we are the largest party among amongst these parties and the official opposition, but we too are subjecting ourselves to the process of negotiation. So we want to come in here with an equal footing. We want to come in here to say, well, this is, you know, these are our proposals and we want to meet uh, others halfway. So it was important that the actual negotiation is, uh, is you know, tr uh, is, uh, is, uh, is chaired by somebody independent and not just a political party. Mm. Okay, Chief Whip, you have already in then in Parliament tabled legislation that seeks to stabilize coalitions in South Africa. Tell us more about this legislation. Look, we, um, ha what we have decided uh, towards the end of uh, last year was that the instability we started to see at a local government level was something that we could not essentially see transcend at a provincial or a national level. Mm -hmm. And so we started doing the work of looking at international best practice, of really doing the work of finding out how do other coalition governments work. Mm -hmm. And to that end, we've come up with three pieces of legislation, which I'm very excited about because they'll be coming to parliament. And uh, as a result, the, the three pieces of legislation, we believe that, and that's why we lobbied other political parties to support them, because we do believe that they'll go a long way in stabilizing coalitions, mm -hmm. especially at a provincial and a national level. Mm -hmm. Thank you.